trials, tribulations, so forth and so on. Uh, even understanding the, the perils have started to get older. older. We, some of you all may have heard when we were first getting ready to start service. Brother Rick was talking about trying to see things on the screen and I suggested he take it up to about a 42, 48, 72, somewhere there about so it would be really large letters. Since he does not have his uh, graduated bifold, folks like I do, uh, he has been resisting, and as many of us do, we're denying the fact that uh, we're getting older. <clears throat> Any y'all ever done that before? Just kind of don't like to get into that phase and keep denying it. We can't hardly see blind in one eye, can't see out of the other, but deny that that's the fa that's the fact, right? Uh, the realities of life is that they're full of trials and tribulations and those types of things. And we need to understand that God has a purpose in all the things that he allows in the midst of our lives. And we really need to know how to uh, walk in a sense of peace in the midst of all of our tribulations and trials. Because not all they, they don't come by happenstance, but they are uh, designed, as a matter of fact. Uh, I want to invite your attention to a couple of passages of scripture, one of which you're uh, quite familiar with, both of them you may be quite familiar with, but one of them, of course, is very familiar, Jeremiah 29, 11. Uh, that was one you really should know by heart uh, because it's one that is, uh, I think, very uh, valuable to us. And I'm sorry, I'm getting a little warm in here. And... Uh, <laughs> the other passage I want you to turn to is a very familiar passage that is found in Luke chapter 22 and the Smith's commencing with verse 31. So if you uh, put your finger in the Luke passage, 22 and 31, but we'll start off with the 29, 11 and 20. You have found the two stated texts, Jeremiah 29, 11, Luke 22, 31. Please respond by saying amen. 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 Shall we stand for the reading of the word of God as it's penned 